Storm Team 8 takes great pride in giving you the information you need to start your day, and we're glad you agree. For me, weather is something that we live by, and it's definitely the first thing we put on when we wake up in the morning. And one of the most important things that we do is to make sure that you're prepared for what lies ahead and what role the weather will play in your family's day. Good morning, Connecticut has its own set of forecasting challenges. You need to be ready for anything, and we need to get you ready to get out the door. My routine of gathering and reporting morning weather starts when some of you are just heading to bed. After getting up and getting to the studio, it's all about a two-hour race against the clock, researching data for my forecast. And let me add, the darkness doesn't help. We have to count on satellites and technology to even see what kind of clouds are out there and what that could tell about the weather coming up through the day. Once the forecast is finished, then the internet needs to be updated and there are pre-show tapings. It's a lot of running around. Snow across the entire state. We have different kind of changing scenarios with different locations even within the studio. There's barely time for coffee. Now we love Connecticut because of our four seasons. But each can be a little challenging. When there are snowstorms like the recent couple of months, superintendents are up early bus drivers are up early and everyone else who commutes so you have to get those snow amounts dead on because people are counting on that not only the amounts but the timing when it starts when it finishes because it can impact so many people compare that to summer months when the focus of weather's impact changes affecting large groups of people outside a little later in the day at camp or even at the beach you have to get that call out there first thing in the morning for the risk of any thunderstorms. We are back now at 848. Let's get another check of the forecast with Gil Simmons. Busy day, Gil. It really is, and we're not done. Now, it's not all bad. There are certainly a couple of perks to the shift you learn to appreciate. We get two rounds of computer models to look at before we go on, doing the weather first thing in the morning. And also, with great co-workers like I have, come on, how can it get much better? Have a great day. Stay safe out there.